was born and where she lives and resides and that's how it started. Where was this? 66A Hagen Street, that's where. In Banjul. Uh, in the 60s. Oh, 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 this, was in, this was in the 1930s. In the 1930s. 1938 I was born, but I ground about, I realized myself, I know who I was. I could remember just before the war. I remember 1944, 45. I could remember when the war was coming so to an end. You came to Banjul essentially in the 40s. 40, yes. Okay, now tell us, Banjul used to be a very engaging settlement. Very engaging. I mean, multiculturalism yeah. was rife all over the city. I mean, tell us about your childhood, your formative years in Banjul, in a metropolitan city. Great, you know, it was a nice place. I still remember whenever I passed certain areas I remember you know, we used to do culture was more or less like what I see they are trying to emulate wall of where Mandink uh, you know it was a diverse setting you had all kinds of ethnic groups uh, yes and the life was we were friends and I used to remember you know People from upriver coming to the Gambia to have a foster parents, okay. and they were mainly Mandinkas. We in the town, we were mainly Wolofs. And I used to remember having friends who were Mandinkas in Birkama. And I used to go from Banjul to Birkama, and they used to call me friend, friend, and they used to give me paw paw. Started to oh. explore, discover the country. Well, and my mother being not far from a place called Bonto, that's where she decided to go and uh, earn a living. Mom is originally from Bonto? More or less. That's oh. where she get associates In and West friends. West Coast region. Right. Okay. The Fati Kunda of Bonto, mm -hmm. the chief, the Alcalo of Kebe Kunda, they all know my mother. And I have gone a lot of experience with those Mandinkas. That's where I learned my Mandinka, you know in a sentimental piece his favorite genre which he said allows him to sing the jazz icon conveys a singular musical vitality which explains his farm craze for jazz music when did you actually discover jazz right it started when i was in england the word jazz came to my area i used to play at the covent garden, covent garden. you heard about the covent garden and I found, I made a vow at the Royal Festival Hall in England when I was selected to represent Africa on Africa Freedom Day. I remember in 19, around about 63, I went to represent Africa on that Africa Freedom Day and to sing a song. What uh, song did you sing on that day? Yes, I remember it was like some Mandinka song and Wolof more or less try to something sing something like it remind me about the natives of the gambia so you could still see how your childhood i mean within a multicultural setting and a metropolitan city with diverse ethnic groups affected uh, your music eventually and your life here yeah, yeah, here it's true and then i made a vow that said i said i was then studying at the Paddington technical college and i made my vow at the, the there was a leaflet they gave me to put some writings about my future mm -hmm. and I remember having put statement there that my ambition is to go on playing music singing mm -hmm. yes, yes, singing. singing and mm -hmm. doing acting and all these things yes. to make bring me closer to my ancestors okay. to what they were you know. An engaging childhood in Banjul, growing up in the island city with its diverse mix of ethnic groups and exploding pop culture gave the jazz singer the precise inspiration to fully embrace the musical genre. <laughs>
just joining us we presently on the expedition with me Ibrahim Jata looking at the charming disposition of the Smadin coast and its jazzy character here we are with legendary uh, local king of jazz Amigo Jeng telling us about his life jazz music and the evolution of popular entertainment on the Smadin coast I want to show you before jazz what were the music that's why you're pushing me into exactly. I said the evolution of popular I mean modern entertainment on the Smadin coast music at that time was Band Calypso. It used to be snow stomped with all kinds of I mean, bands and then what, what you used to have at the time, it was not only jazz. Jazz, I learned, I learned about jazz when I started reading books about music and when I was playing at the Royal Festival Hall and I make some vow about you. But there were popular music when I was young in the Gambia, which is very interesting for you to put into this thing, adding it all up together for people to know really how I did start it. Now there used to be local clubs, Band. bands, you know, and there used to be another kind of music. They call the Hausa. They used to do their own type of music. And on uh, Ramadan, we used to go and join them at night. We sing and we dance. They go with their lanterns, you know, and I know a lot of songs from, from those from them. And you had a great pop culture. Really? Yes. As I was saying to you, there was this Harry Belafonte who made a record called Island in the Sun. Because you're talking about something in the sun. You're talking about this thing, coast, smiling coast and all that. So I said, okay, let's bring Island in the Sun to, to endorse what you're saying. <coughs> I want to roughly sing it in English, but then I must say it in Wolof for people to understand it. Yes. Now uh, give us a line. This is my island in the sun a will to me by my father's hands all my days i will sing in praise of your forest waters your shining sun island in the sun the will to me by my father's hands now you used to have this place where many people will come together and enjoy themselves they call it, they used to call it barn the band tonight or tonight's band i wouldn't know v very much about it because i'm very young very but tell us about these days amigo Th those days i love if you now that we know each other we're going to make a revival of that if you they must have been beautiful days you don't know how happy people used to be people you never hear having you know heart attack and all this kind people were just friendly people were happy Ban tonight. tonight. They when they they used to put on the news bulletin. Ban tonight. Ban tonight. And our papa and mama tell us, ah, today is Friday. Ban tonight. Ban tonight. And everyone will convert and have a good time. And when we go ban tonight, mm -hmm. we allow the band master to play classical music, mm -hmm. English, and all that. Yeah. But then there is a part mm -hmm. for us. Yeah. And when our turn is on, da mm -hmm. ilaha illallah. Amazing. Man, you see how we dance. You never believe it. We dance round. Uh, one thing we've missed over the years is the emergence of a local talent who will embrace this form of art. Is there any chance that uh, we will see the younger generation, I mean, delving into you know jazz? Why? You know why? Mm -hmm. There's no help. No. My but pocket. It doesn't mean that they're not attracted. My pocket, what I spend in my music, if I tell you how many millions, how many people have millions just to throw? There's no, there was no, there, nobody had. But at that time, I was the champion electrical contractor in the Gambia. I used to compete with the white contractors from abroad. Anytime they charge one million, I charge 750. Now you were doing all this. I was making millions. And as well as that you had a vocation. You had jazz music as a diversion. After work, jazz, jazz all the way. I have a nightclub, Jengdula. You heard about it. And there